Alright, Shalom. Shalom. Alright, first and foremost, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, out there that's pushing his truth, truth, sincerity. Alright, we're the brothers from uh, Great Millstone, Atlanta, and we want to do a lesson on um, basically the order of uh, Melchizedek and how that pertains to us in these times. And also our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, being Melchizedek. So, um, we just going to jump right into it. Um, Baba Kishad, you mind getting, um, I think it's Psalms 40 and 6. God. 40 and 7. Yeah, God, God. Yeah, because we all, we already know that he came as, he, he was Adam, he was Isaac, he was Solomon, but he also came as, as Melchizedek as well. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Psalms chapter 40, verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. God, that's why Yahweh Shai is the Alpha and Omega, all right? From Genesis to Revelation, it's written about Yahweh Shai. Even um, prophets like Moses prophesied of uh, Yahweh Shai in Deuteronomy 18. But, you know, for this particular lesson, we're just going to get into um, <clears throat> uh, Melchizedek, you know, um, Malak, uh, Taz Malak, Malak Tazadakia, mm -hmm. all right, King of Righteousness. Yep. So, um, let me see, uh, the scripture I want to go to, we can start off in Hebrews chapter 7. Okay. What were we talking about? Yeah, Kai. All right, Kai, this is Hebrews chapter 7, verse, uh, we can start at 1. Oh, you want to start at 1? You want to read all the way through? We can start at 1 and then we can just, you know, jump down. Hit, hit certain topics, I mean, hit some points in there. All right, Kai, this is Hebrews chapter one, 7, verse 1. For this Melchizedek, king of uh, Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. And you can read about that in um, uh, Genesis uh, 14. I'll get that right quick. Okay. Um, this is, uh, and even um, just going to like the, 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 spirit, the spiritual understanding or sense of, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai coming as Melchizedek uh, in the time of Abraham, you know, he came as an angel or came in a, in a um, a, a non, um, you know, fleshly uh, 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 vessel, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So he was, uh, you know, through that he was found worthy because he he didn't come, you know, in a in a fleshly sense. So he was uh, uh, co completely righteous, you know, completely in, uh, worthy to be the priest um, for Abraham mm -hmm. to the Most High Yahweh. God, this is uh, Genesis fourteen and eighteen. <clears throat> I'll start seventeen and the king. Of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Chidor uh, Le Leomer and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Shava, which is the king's dale. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God, the Most High Power. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High Power, possessor of heaven and earth. And that's important too because uh, Shai, during this in this instance, Melchizedek, because of the, the, the righteousness of his uh, spirit or his vessel, is able to do what? Not just take the offering from Abraham, but also able to give him a blessing, man. Mm -hmm. The same way that Shai is doing for us, all right? He's able to take, take the sacrifice of us, give him to this ministry, mm -hmm. but he's also able to bless us uh, uh, more through the Holy Spirit to uh, uh, grow us in the spirit as we continue on our walking in our journey. Okay. All right, verse 20. And blessed be the most high power which have delivered thine enemies into thy hand, and he gave them types of all. Yeah, and that's important too as well, man. Because uh uh you know, we're hoping we're hoping and praying to not only grow and abound in the bound in the spirit and in the truth and, and in the and in the fight, mm -hmm. but we're also hoping to get a blessing in which we can also conquer our enemies, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, starting with the uh, the uh, first and foremost, of course, the Edomites, the biblical Edomites, so called white race. All right, but also these heathens and also the two thirds, <coughs> also even uh, uh, ourselves, man, the old man, right. you know, hoping to get a, a certain blessing in the covering and understanding to uh, uh, do away with our, our old wicked ways that we uh, uh, did in, in the world, man. That's right. You know. All right, let me go back to uh, what, Hebrews. Hebrews seven. Yeah, come. Kind of. This is Hebrews chapter seven, verse two, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness. And after that, also king of Salem, which is king of peace. 
and then go into uh, uh, you know, we're going to go a little deeper as far as the the, the role that Yahweh Shot serves as uh, uh, the high priest. All right, and we us coming in that order because even like it says here, it spoke. It says um, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace, because through his righteousness, uh, 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 when the Yahweh, when it's going to enable the kingdom of heaven, all right, uh, which is Yahweh Shah's kingdom to be established, which will be a what for our people, a, a kingdom of peace, man. That's right. Continue on. Uh, I got a precept for uh, verse 2. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah 9 and 6. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The mighty, uh, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. All right, it says of verse 7, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So <clears throat> that's going hand in hand with uh, verse 2, man, the King of Peace, man, Yahweh Shah, man. All right, coming to give us that rest that we that we so need, man. You know. Oh, right, you continue on. I got something real quick. Okay. This is Matthew chapter three, verse eleven. Uh, it says, "I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire." Okay, and the part of that preparation is us getting baptized with the uh, the Holy Spirit, man. And that's continuing to uh, be, even like the brother brought out earlier, Psalms 40 and 7, <coughs> is speaking about Yahweh Shah being in the volume of the book. So us continuing to uh, 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 get into the scriptures and get the understanding of the Holy Scriptures by the, the Holy Spirit, we're continuing to be baptized by Yahweh Shah, by and through Yahweh Shah. Okay, and also with that, it comes a certain uh, 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 baptism by fire as well, man. You know, you, uh, you know because uh, the Heavenly Father... It's going to speak about it pleased the Heavenly Father to bruise, his, uh, to bruise Yahweh Shai, man. Because cause really, you know, Yahweh Shai being Adam is is the, 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 the point, you know, through Eve is the point in which <clears throat> sin and transgression entered, entered uh, our, our nation and our people, okay? And, and, that's, and that's why uh, um, that fire, we, we expect a certain level of fire as well, man, okay? Because that's another uh, purifying agent. It's like a, 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 a fire and water. Yeah, the living waters uh, refreshing us and uh, revitalizing us, and at certain times when that water, uh, uh, we're not getting the picture, so to speak, with the with the water. There has to be a, a certain level of fire, or it might just be certain uh, higher level spirits that <clears throat> most have to put you through certain uh, uh, tests to really, you know, get get the ball rolling, so to speak, man. It's, it's just another method or another avenue of purification. That's right. Uh, continuing on, this is Hebrews chapter seven, verse three. Without father, without mother, without descent, and that's and this is another way we know that uh, 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 Yahweh Shah was the first spirit created by the Most High. All right, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like unto the son of the son of the Most High, abided a priest continually. It says made like unto the son of the Most High. So that's another. You could just re if you read it right there. I mean. I mean, but made like unto the son of the most high, man. So that, that's more evidence that Melchizedek <clears throat> is Yahweh Shai and he came in, a, in, a, in an uh, angelic force, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Continuing on, Hebrews 7 and 4. Now consider how great this man was. Unto him, even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the spoils. Mm -hmm. And verily, and yeah, man, uh, and Yahweh Shai made the covenant through Abraham, man, mm -hmm. you know? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, 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 a Abraham was such a special man in the eyes of the heavenly Father that he made the covenant in which we rest on with Abraham. Yeah. And uh, uh, Melchizedek or Yahweh Shai was uh, such as uh, uh, has such a, a unique and, and pivotal role in this ministry that the, <coughs> the heavenly Father chose Yahweh Shai Melchizedek to be the priest to Abraham. To to bring upon that covenant, man. Yeah, it was. It's only right for Melchizedek, who's Yahweh Shai, to, to give that blessing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's only right. Yeah, mm -hmm. He's the Alpha and Omega. Yep. And yeah, and even speaking with the Alpha and Omega, even um, uh, Bishop Atazimah goes into how 
Melchizedek, Yahweh came to Abraham in the form of Melchizedek and then came right back as uh, Isaac. Isaac. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cold, man. I was thinking about that when I was studying last night. I was like, that's heavy, man. That's, man. And they go show you that he is the Alpha and Omega. Yeah, man. That's, that's cold. Man. Okay, continuing mm -hmm. on, uh, Hebrews 7 and 5. And verily they that are the sons of Levi who receive the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law that is of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. So, you know, naturally the priesthood belonged to the Levites, which the today's standards is you so-called uh, Haitians, man. But through the order of Melchizedek, it, it opened it up to all, all the tribes, basically. Man. Mm -hmm. You know? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, verse 6, but he whose descent is not counted from them received, received tithes of Abraham and blessed him that had the promises. And without all contradiction, the less, the less is blessed of the better. And here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth them of whom it is witness that he liveth. Okay, so on earth, on earth, and, and this is where we have to increase our understanding as far as that we really are the sacrifice, man. Okay, because in this, in the, in a physical sense, you know, and even with Ab with Abraham, in a physical sense, he supplied a tenth of all of all of his uh, 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 wealth, so to speak, uh, as a physical as the physical uh, tithe or sacrifice. But now we, we we're not we're laboring for an incorruptible crown, which that means that we have to give up a certain sacrifice or a certain tithe, so to speak, in the spirit. You know, so I'm going to read that again. It says, um, and here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth them of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. Okay, so our spirit, our spiritual sacrifice, you know, whether it be our time, our energy, anything that we do for the ministry and for the brotherhood, we're actually uh, uh, um, presenting a certain sacrifice or a certain tithe in the spirit. And we're receiving that, that and, and, and we're giving that tithe. Uh, we're giving that sacrifice and we're receiving certain things in the spirit, okay, uh, to be, to, uh, to, uh, as, as a blessing, a spiritual blessing of those sacrifices because we have witness of Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shine. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, continuing on, Hebrews 7 and 9. And as I may so say, Levi also, who receiveth tithes, pay of tithes in Abraham, for he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. So this happened <laughs> way before, you know, Levi was even, Levi was even created, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, matter of fact, I got one in Exodus right quick. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this priesthood was set up, but I mean, through order, Levi was the priest. Um, pretty quick. Yeah, because because the high priest wasn't always on earth. So you had to have so the, the 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 line of priests was established through Levi. God, this is uh, Exodus nineteen and five. Now therefore, if you obey my voice, indeed, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. All right. Now, now going back to verse one, he's talking about it's pertaining to the children of Israel. Now going to verse six. And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So this, mm -hmm. this goes hand in hand with uh, 1 Peter 2 and 9, a royal priesthood. So, you know, way before uh, <clears throat> Levi was set up to be a priest, this was this was already established. But it goes back to, you know, the order of Melchizedek in uh, Genesis, uh, the 14th chapter. Yeah, and then even, and even with that as well, it said, um, you are a nation of uh, kings and priests. Uh, or this nation of priests. I'll read for verse six again. Uh, Exodus nineteen and six, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. A kingdom, that's what it said. A kingdom of priests. Okay, because in the kingdom there's going to be uh, you're going to have uh, king, kings or rulers of every nation of every tribe. Right. Okay. So that's why. Continue reading that. Uh, uh, Exodus nineteen and six, and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a and an holy nation and a holy nation. Okay, and, and that's and that's how we know that there's a, a new um, uh, order of priesthood set up, so to speak, mm -hmm. because it's opened up to the to uh, the the whole nation mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Right. Finish that. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. Because the 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 uh, the priesthood, the order of the priesthood, and the, the structure of the priesthood 
is, uh, is, 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 is being altered, so to speak. Because now the high priest, Yahweh Shai, who was Melchizedek, but it also is Yahweh Shai, is being uh, established as the high priest. That's right. And that's, that's why um, when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, man, those chief priests like Caiaphas back in the day, they couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. They wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. All right? Because he was setting up that um, third temple spiritually yep. as well. So they didn't want nothing to do with it. And then when you go, when you go to the, there are certain times, um, the the, Levi, the Levi, 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 Levitical priests, that's a tongue twister. So <laughs> the Levitical priests were going off. If you read mm -hmm. Malachi, the second chapter, that's basically a prophecy concerning the Levitical priests. And then, you, like, like, for instance, you had John Hycranus that was uh, teaching it, trying to convert the Edomites mm -hmm. to our law, statutes, commandments. Yep. You had Caiaphas, the high priest. Mm -hmm. And then during the time, um, during those times, these high priests were set up by Edomites. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, this guy Caiaphas, the high priest Caiaphas during the time of Yahushai, he was set up by, um, I believe it was a Roman who was over the Judean prophets. So, you know, they had a problem with Yahushai coming <clears throat> in that spirit of the, of the chief high priest, man. They knew who he was, but they ultimately, you know, sought out to kill Yahushai, man. Yeah, and they, and they, and it's heavy, it's heavy the brother said that too, because they couldn't understand, they couldn't understand a grasp the 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 order the order of Melchizedek mm -hmm. because they didn't have the witness of the Messiah. Right. Without the witness of the Messiah, you can't understand the order the order of the priesthood. Mm -hmm. That's heaven. And then also, you know, they was also getting kickbacks and goodies, mm -hmm. and it was like a prestige to this man. Mm -hmm. what, what, what we're doing through the priesthood is bringing a nation back together. We're not doing this for our own selfish interest, man. Mm -hmm. You know, those who are sincere. I mean, you got a lot of guys out here that say they're the priests, but. All they want is donations and collections and clout. But we're doing this. To, we're, we're a nation of, of priests. Lord willing, we be part of number to, to gather the elect back together, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, Continue on. Uh, we need to hit the point yet. Yeah, I think we're just going down to 14. Yeah. To point. Yeah. 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 Um, Hebrews 7 um, and 11. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, see, for under it the people received the law. What further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? Because the thing about it is, we were never we were never designed to be completely justified by the law because we're in these chains of darkness. We're in the flesh, and yes, yes, we understand that the law is perfect, but us being imperfect through the flesh. If we were to be completely justified by the law, we we would never flourish as a nation. We, 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 none of us would make it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's why it says, if if therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law. So we kind of got the, the training course, so to speak, mm -hmm. because we can only get to a certain level right. through the law, yeah. you know, because, because of our imperfections through the flesh. Mm -hmm. You see? Um, I got priesthood right quick. Kind of, that one. Okay, kind. Of. What further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? Okay, so because of our uh, inability, so to speak, to <clears throat> fulfill be um, to adhere to the law through the, in the flesh, we had there was a there is an a, a order set up in the spirit in which it's not all about uh, uh, completely being uh, judged on the law. It's about being judged through the spirit of the law. God. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 11. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams mm -hmm. and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of uh, he goats. So, all right, Yahweh Shai had to come on the scene because he was the ultimate sacrifice and he atoned uh, for the sins of the nation of Israel. And then. <clears throat> He didn't came. He didn't come to destroy the law. He came to fulfill the law, and within coming to fulfill that everything that was written about him, he, he, he this pre, this this priesthood that we're in now, we don't have to go before an altar, and uh, well, first of all, <coughs> so like, well, first of all, it, 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 the, the order of Melchizedek opened it up to uh, us, you know, Judah, yeah, all right, uh, Reuben, all the tribes, Naphtali, on mm -hmm. and on and on, all the twelve tribes, well. 
are the eleven tribes outside of Levi. Right, 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 right. So we're we're that ultimate sacrifice, as the brother mentioned earlier. We're putting our bodies on the line by going to camp, feeding the flock. All right, um, being temperate, making sacrifices, examining ourselves. So we got to be that ultimate sacrifice because there was a time where the Levi the Levites were offering up these offerings, but the Lord got tired of it because Jake. Jacob was basically like, well, I commit adultery, let me just offer a bull up. I mean, I could offer a sacrifice and go do the same stuff over and over again. Mm -hmm. But now, through Yahweh Shai, all right, <clears throat> Lord, willing, Lord willing to be part of those men, all right, our sins will be forgiven. And know? even, I, I say this as well, even with, uh, we already read Genesis 14? Yeah, we read it. We didn't get that word. We didn't get that word. We didn't get yeah. this word. But even with that, you see, a priest, a priest is a mediator, right? A priest is a mediator from you know, one higher power to <clears throat> lower level, lower level powers, right? So even think about this, Levi, Levi, because Le Levi's in the flesh too. Levi can't even really be a proper priest to Yahweh while Yahweh shot, because they're in the flesh. You see what I'm saying? We're going to actually be able to uh, uh, be in complete um, cooperation with our powers when the kingdom of heaven is established. <clears throat> so you, the priest or the mediator between Yahweh and Yahweh Shai got to be so pure that, you know, they have, they have to actually be able to be vessels that can actually give a certain level of blessing right. for that higher power. If we had to rely completely on Levi, and it's not a knock on Levi because we're all in the flesh. We all we all fall we all fall and have fell short of our, of all of our respective roles and titles. But if we had to rely completely on a priest that's in the flesh, they're not pure enough to to, to bring upon the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. They're they, they, they're not worthy to be uh, 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 to serve their role. They're not worthy to be the priest. That's right. <laughs> that's why you have to have. A high priest that's completely pure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get this uh this word, man. All right, I'll read Genesis 8 14 again. Genesis 14 and 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the most high power. See, because he's actually <clears throat> Melchizedek is the priest of Yahweh. <laughs> that's why that's why that spirit has to be perfect. Yep. Yeah, the, the Heavenly Father isn't gonna allow a mediator between him, himself, and and even his elect chosen people is not going to allow me because he's too pure. Yahweh is too perfect. He's too perfect to have an impure priest. All right, bless the uh, the, the the next tier, so to speak. That's why we have to have Melchizedek, who is Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Shai, who is Melchizedek, because you have to have a perfect priest to be the mediator between the heavenly Father and us. That's why even like we speak about early, Yahweh Shai is the Alpha and Omega. That's why he came as Melchizedek. And came as Isaac, okay, and had to come as Yahweh Shai, not only to atone for our sins, but atone for his sins as well. So he right. can be made completely pure. That's right. That's how we know that the kingdom of hand, the kingdom of heaven is at, is at hand, man. Mm -hmm. So um for Genesis uh 14 and 18, that word for uh slap it one back. That word for mm -hmm. priest, when it says and he was the priest, is H 3548 Kahan. It says priest, principal offer, or chief ruler. Priest, king, Melchizedek, Messiah. It says priest of the priest of Yahweh. It says the high priest. You see? And even with this, and, and, and the high priest, because even um really the, the priest is above the king. But Yahweh Shah is is the, the priest. He's the 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 Messiah, he's the king, he's the word, he's the wisdom, you see, yeah, you know, he, he, he's all of those things. So with him being everything, the, pre, the priest is the, the king, because <laughs> he's the ruler. Because with, without, without him being able to serve as the priest, and that's why he's going to be the priest, the high priest, and going to be the king, the, the chief ruler. Because without him being that pure priest, the, the kingdom wouldn't, wouldn't come. You see? Right. And even with that, he, with him coming in the volume of the book, all right, the, the, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, let me get that real quick. Spirit of prophecy. Because even with that, um, uh, 
Uh, even with that, see, Yahweh Shai, we are able through Yahweh Shai and having the, the testimony of Yahweh Shai and the spirit of prophecy, we're actually able to herald the coming of not just Yahweh Shai, but of our Heavenly Father. Right. <laughs> this is heavy stuff, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is Revelation chapter 19, I'm starting at verse, uh, uh, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. See, the testimony of Yahweh Shai enables us to worship the Heavenly Father. Because Yahweh Shai was the perfect Israelite. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai being the perfect Israelite actually enables us to not only seek perfection, but also enables us to praise the Heavenly Father. Because through through Yahweh Shai being perfect and leaving the perfect and really uh, covering the multitude of our sins, mm -hmm. we're able to say, Dwadi Habashim Yahweh Shai. We have a chance. Now through him, we have a chance to please the Heavenly Father. Yeah, because the scripture talk about um, Yahweh Shai being that partition. Mm -hmm. um, also talks about Yahweh Shai being the door, mm -hmm. opening up that way for us to come back you know, to the Heavenly Father. So only, like the brother was saying, only somebody that's perfect, a priest, would have to do that, and mm -hmm. that's, that's Yahweh Shai. Yep. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So Yahweh Shai is coming to judge and to make war. <laughs> Yahweh Shai is the, the 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 ultimate Jake of the heavenly Father, man. All right. Not only is Yahweh Shah coming to, to, to judge and give salvation, Yahweh Shah is coming to bring a sword, man. You know? And coming to praise the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And coming to, uh, uh, to, to uh, crown his elect. And coming to put our enemies in complete subjugation. And put uh, 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 the entire world and universe in order. Yeah. Yahweh Shah is, is, is the, the, the high priest of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. Go back to Hebrews. Yeah, come. On. Good thing. Yeah, get through this. This is Hebrews chapter 7, uh, verse 12. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaining to another tribe, of which no man gave attendance at the altar, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident, evident for that after the similitude of Melchizedek there ariseth another priest. That's how it opened it up to all the uh, all the 11 tribes, man. Through Yahweh Shai, man. Being that chief high priest. You know, like we mentioned, uh, the, back during those times it was opened up to a Levitical priesthood, but now in these times it's opened up to like tribes like uh, Manasseh, you know, mm -hmm. Simeon, uh, Reuben, all right, it's a car. Yeah. You know, it's open up to... Uh, Gad. Yeah, Gad. So, uh, I want to get another scripture as well. Um, this is uh, Psalms chapter 110, verses 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies a footstool. The point is in four. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So that's another indicator that Yahweh Shah was Melchizedek, man. Because mm -hmm. it mentions in the first verse, the Lord said unto my Lord. All right. This yep. is a psalm of David and uh, his Lord. It's actually his son Solomon, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, this is another indicator that uh, Yahweh Shai was uh, Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> kind. Uh, it really, to be honest, man, you just gotta have a certain level of, sp of spirituality to about yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Even going to Amos three and seven, mm -hmm. but just and even going to Yahweh Shai saying that uh, his sheep hear his voice. You know, you just gotta have a certain level of spirituality and an understanding that's really just given. By you know, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, because it, it it make complete sense when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. You know how how is Yahweh Shah gonna be the Alpha if he didn't come 
and in the beginning the to set up to set up the priesthood. Yeah. And why and why are there all these references in the New Testament and the Old Testament about Melchizedek? What is so special about that interaction between Melchizedek and Abraham? It's got to be something to it, man. You have, you have to have a certain level of understanding. It's really just giving through the Spirit, man. I got something for that. This okay. is uh, 1 Corinthians 2, um, verse 13. I'm going to start 12. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of the Most High, mm -hmm. that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. Verse 13, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So that's how we know about these things to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shai to uh, feed the elect with this uh, understanding that we have starting with our apostles and elders, man. Because mm -hmm. those priests were before us, man. And they're, they're training us uh, in the way of Yahweh Bashim al Shai to be a, 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 a nation of kings and priests as well through this ministry. That's right, bro. I got something real quick, too. You done with that? Yeah, come on. This is uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 6. We, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So it's just a certain level of just Most High dealing with you, man. You know, to, to whatever level, whatever whatever lot. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to deal with his prophets differently than he's going to deal with the one-third. He's going to deal with the one-third differently than he's dealing with the two-third. He's going to deal with a, a, a woman that's joined to a man, you know, of, of the Lord differently than he's going to deal with just a, a regular uh, uh, two-third Evite yes. or a heathen woman. But in the day, if if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is dealing with you, you're going to be able to decipher over time, you know, certain tests and as the Spirit deals and deals operates with you, you're going to be able to decipher what's real and what's not real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me finish. I'll say two more verses. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 7. Uh, I'm going to reread this verse. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 15. And it is yet far more evident that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there ariseth another priest who is made. So who is this? <laughs> who is it? Who is the priest that's arisen after uh, the order of Melchizedek, man? You see? Yeah, uh, the non. The, the non uh... Messianic Hebrew would probably say David, man. But Psalm 110 and 110, 1 through 4 cuts all that, man. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, who was made. Man, you, man, see, you about to get me going a whole other direction when you brought that up, man. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of time, brother. <laughs> Hebrews 7 and 16. Who was made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. Because mm -hmm. what? Yahweh Shah also is uh, after uh, he was crucified and uh, risen up, mm -hmm. he went to be to uh, sit at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Man. Um, for he testified, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Um, and that was the point. Yeah. Hey. You got any, uh, any closing precepts? Mm 